hi guys welcome to pixel affair it's kobe here so today's video is actually about a new cinema 4d capsule i just discovered and it's called trim splines right now if you're an after effect user and you know about trim parts then this capsule also works similarly right that's not to say that initially cinema 4d couldn't do something like that uh, like that just that it will take you a couple of steps so let's actually get into cinema 4d and let me show how it works so i have a new scene here and i'll create something like let's say a helix right and now initially if like say i want the helix to grow on there are a couple of ways initially i probably i probably will have to come to my mode graph and create let's say um, a mode spline and change the mode uh, the tab here the mode from um simple to spline and now come to the spline tab and now drag in and drop this source and now i can see the mode spline is wrapping around our um, helix so now i can hide my helix and now with the mode spline i can come to the object tab here and that's where I can start to grow um, my uh, my spline using the most spline, right? And this works fine. But sometimes, you know, it's like I feel like the steps are too much. So, but in this case, this um, particular capsule is as simple and straightforward. All I have to do is to come to my assets and I'll type in, you can see I've searched trim sp uh, spline and I can just drag and drop it into the object manager. It's based on nodes though, but it works with our Cinema 4D regular object. So I can make it a child of the spline, like you make a deformer a child of any uh, object. And now, just by that, you can see now, if I click and drag, it's trimming our spline, right? And going down. And aside that, it has a little other um, uses. So you can trim it by length and by percentage, right? And in this case, I'm using percentage. Also, you can actually come down here and you can see we have offset. In fact, let's actually, you can invert your um, your, your spline as in how it's trimmed, right? And the part that's trimmed now will come and, you know, you can basically invert what you've done and you can see it's inverting. And also you can come in here and you can see we have offset. So you can actually now offset it and you go offset around your object um your spline basically right and there is read so if you know about cinema 4d m um, read basically um when you are working the spline and i think you see read it basically it's ability for you to get something to move without necessarily actually setting keyframes so if i set the rate to 20 percent and now i hit play you can see now it's offsetting our spline right so you can see everything is full and actually you can also make it loop. So if I set it, let's say 50, 50%, 50 right. And hit play and let's set it to um, uh, frame rate, rate to 60 frames and hit play. It should be able to loop basically, right. And let's set the end to 50 as well. So now you can get some sort of loop playing around with, with that. So basically, I just literally discovered this morning when I was actually surfing through um, the internet and I saw this um, video from Magzon Ask the Trainer um, and Chris Mitch was actually talking about some capsules that um, is in Cinema 4D. And I feel like there's something I can do a quick video on, probably might not know about it. And this can be helpful. So I actually played around with it. So in some instances like this, I have this... Um, tracer object moving and you can see it's drawing our parts right and you can actually with the tracer object you can select the tracer object and come to see uh, from end and now um if we increase the frames you always follow our object right and also we can set it to from start and now the first few frames you will draw on but what if you want it to um Let's go set it to none. What if we wanted to say follow our object, but give it a bit of gap. You can see with this, there's no gap. It's really inside our object. Give it a bit of gap and also um, trim the ends, right? I I try this with uh, the, um, the spline, uh, trim spline modifier. Make it a child of the tracer. And you can see I increase the um, start to like 66 and the end to um, 90. And now if I hit play, we're following our object. You can see it's trimming it, but at the same time, there's always like some space between the spline and the object. And I felt it was quite of uh, interesting if you do use it, something like that. And also I did this one where I cloned, I created two splines, right? And I actually made sure it's looping. So 
the start is set to 25, the first one, and the second one, the end is set to 25, right? Um, and now I've set the loop, the rates to 50 at the same time, 50 here, and now it's on loop. So it's sort of, and I've uh, put the two in a clone object and I've set the mode to blend. So it's blending between them. And now um, if you hit play, you can see, um, unfortunately in this case, I think it's quite slow when you are using it in the clone object, but you get the idea, right? It gives you that um, sweeping lines and it's blending smoothly and um, how do you call it? It's giving you this nice organic splines moving together. So I think this is something I could uh, like let you guys know if you probably don't know about it. I feel it's interesting and you can come up with a lot of interesting stuff with it. So this is something I think it's interesting. And this actually brought my attention to, I've, I think I've probably start playing with the capsules and do a bit more tutorials when it comes to um, Cinema 4D capsules, right? So stay tuned and there'll be more of such videos. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.